Education is the golden gate to freedom. These are the words of George Washington, the first president of the United States of America from 1775 to 1783. Indeed, America is known for world-class education. I sought to find out from a number of students at Indiana University of Pennsylvania in a rural town situated in the state of Pennsylvania. I talked to Ram Krishna, an international student from Nepal, South Asia, about his experiences at Indiana University. With a name, Ram Krishna Sharma. I came from Nepal, a country of Mount Everest, and the birthplace of Lord Buddha, where the snow-capped mountains often smile looking at the valleys and plains of the country. When I came the first day here, it was like raining and the snow was covering the whole city. So this was the way I started living in Indiana. Navigating the complexities of the new culture and the language proved to be the another big challenge that I faced. Simple tasks like shopping the groceries and going for the like asking for the directions was also another big challenge that I faced in the first one week of like Indiana. But later on, some big challenges had to come. I knew I had to cope with the challenges so that I could chase my dreams and my fulfill my dreams. I came to USA in the last month of 2023. While I was boarded in the plane to take off for USA, I was reminded of the words of a wise mentor who once said, life is not a bed of roses. The path to success is never easy, but it is always worth it. I look back to my journey from a small, underdeveloped corner of the world to the bustling cities of America. I realized that it was never just about acquiring knowledge or earning a degree. It was about proving to myself who has a courage to pursue my passion to chase my dreams. With some loans and amounts of our savings, I came to US with a passion to acquaint myself with knowledge and skills in strategic communications. As my 13 years of professional career was primarily focused in communications. Yeah, I served as a journalist and communication focal person in development agencies in Nepal. But one of the strengths I hold, quick adapting a new culture and creating a place for myself worked effectively. Another student from Africa had a different story to tell. I am Amara from Nigeria. I am an international student here in America, pursuing my master's degree in Health Services Administration. So I chose to come to America because America is a world, has a world-class educational system. They have wonderful state-of-the-art of uh, technology and everything that is needed to improve and update my knowledge and my skills in my field of study. I feel lonely a lot of times because I don't have my family members here and I don't have friends so it's just my study, my work, my study and it can be pretty lonely. It, it's not been easy, like it's always study, study, the study pressure, the load from studies. Um, I mean, sometimes you find yourself enveloped in your studies and work, which I think, you know, helps to deal with the loneliness. And sometimes I go to church too. It helps. So I try my best to balance even though the pressure from studying is really much but coming here in the United States has given will give me that opportunity to work in any healthcare in the world. So it's worth it. <laughs>